Hey folks, welcome back. So we're uh, stepping back in time a little bit to, um, I guess, about, I guess about the year 1997, and we're going to be talking about uh, fuel tank switches, um, particularly dealing with the pickups from say 92 on up uh, to 1996, 1997. This will work for uh, the F-150s, 250s. Um, and 350s obviously um, it's mostly dealing with the uh, gasoline engines um, and we've got two subjects in here one's a diesel one's a gas and we're going to talk about um, the two different ways uh, that's been it's been done you know to switch the tanks from the front to the rear so anyways we're going to get a different uh, camera view and uh, talk about the pickup that we are having the issue with and then we will talk about the other one um, it's not having an issue, but it's a totally different setup, so we'll go through that so that way you kind of have an idea as to what um, <clears throat> is going on. So, Okay, so this pickup here is a 1996 F-250, um, 7.5 liter, I guess that's a 460 gas engine. And what we had <clears throat> issue was when this thing was running off of the uh, rear tank, the rear tank um started emptying out faster than it should have and then all of a sudden the uh, front tank was filling and then it, the gas was coming out of the vent or the you know the, of the fill basically i mean it's it was overfilling so basically it's transferring it's kind of kind of sort of transferring fuel from inside of the you know from the rear tank to the front tank um, pickup was running just fine. Um, you switch to the rear and you switch to run off the front tank and you don't have that issue. The rear tank does not overfill or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> essentially what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the uh, fuel pump module, uh, the whole module and everything in the front tank. Um, <clears throat> and we're actually going to do the one in the rear tank just as a precaution. But you know, when you got that problem, we're going to talk about the difference between this system and the other one. And just to let you know, this one here is a 1997. This is a um, 7.3 power stroke. And so when you get online and you start looking at, you know, the trying to get on, you know, different information and whatnot, and talking about these uh, tank switches, you know, everybody's talking about the, you know, the tank valve and all that kind of stuff. Because I believe the older um, Fords from the 80s, whether it was gas or diesel, you know, had a, an actual valve that switched. I'm not 100% positive on that. I didn't work on them back then, and I haven't seen too many of the old uh, diesels. Um, very rarely do I see, you know, even too many of these um, here in the same time. That's why I said we're just taking back, you know, stepping back in time here, 1997. So, anyways... You know what you'll find is is you know everybody will, you know say where is this valve where is that valve and it's you know they'll say it's located inside the frame rail on the left side about halfway down and so let's go have a look see at the one in this pickup all right so we come underneath of here you got your uh, front tank and if you read any like technical language or anything like that they call this the midship tank and then your rear tank is above the uh where the spare tire is that's called your aft tank <clears throat> so anyways um so right here next to this uh front tank this is the valve and so we're going to talk about what this valve does but you can see the electrical plug-in and on the back side of it there's various different uh fuel lines coming and going um Here's your two main fuel lines right here, your supply and return, but back there you're going to have oh, about maybe four, six, I think there's six different lines there and I'll explain what we need to do different with, with those. So anyways, uh, let's, um, we'll talk about this. Okay, so this pickup has one mechanical lift pump in the valley of the engine. I believe the 97s still do. In 99, they changed that from a, uh, uh, it's now an electric, you know, <clears throat> all the way to uh, 03, but for the 7.3 anyways. Um, 
in the old 7.3s and even the 6.9s, it still was a mechanical transfer pump, and it pretty much worked with a valve. It didn't really look like that, but it was similar in nature. But anyways, like I said, this has got a mecha one mechanical lift pump that's going to draw from either tank that you're selected to. So that's why you actually need the valve, because you've got your supply coming in, and you got your return fuel going back and so what that valve does is the tank you have selected you select the front tank you want the supply to draw out of the front tank but you also want the return to return back to the same tank and that's pretty much exactly what that that thing is doing now this pickup with the gas engine and this is going to be the same on the you know the old body style F-150s from 91 or 92 um, up to 1996. Um, in 97 they changed to the newer a newer body style and they just had one bigger tank. Um, and so this can include probably also the 1997 F-2 and 350s that would be powered either with a 351 or a 460 gas or whatever. Um, and so this pickup has a does not have that valve okay so if we come back to the same spot we were in before midship or front tank back there under or above the spare tire is your aft or rear tank and so coming along the frame rail you've got your uh, main fuel return and supply coming up and all you have is fuel filter you do not have the valve now if you follow the rest of these lines you'll find out that they're all kind of tied together all right let's talk about what's going on all right so in these gasoline pickups the f-150s and uh, the two and three fifties that have gas engines um, they have a fuel pump in each one of the tanks and Basically, all your selector switch does, that guy right there, all it does is it's just switch to which, so if you choose the front tank, it's going to turn the pump on for the front tank. And what keeps the gas from, you know, not returning, let's say, to the rear tank is it's got a... a check valve basically inside of the you know the fuel tank module and I wish I had one of those out but I don't have one of those out yet because um, I haven't gotten this one out yet so anyways that's what keeps it from returning to the you know if you're running on the front tank it keeps it returning you know back you know back to the or I'm kind of confused basically okay so you select the front tank um, well, let's actually let's take this pickup for an example um, you're running off the rear tanks. You select the rear tank. It turns on the pump in the rear tank and shuts off the pump for the front tank. It's now pumping into here. And if you were, if I had a fuel gauge, you know, plumbed into right here, you know, that, that fuel pump is supplying uh, fuel pressure to your injection rail through that fuel filter underneath the um, frame there that we just looked at. And then because the, you're running off the rear tank, your front tank should have a check valve to keep the fuel from not going back into that front tank. Well, that check valve has failed on this pickup, which allows fuel to go back into the front tank while running off the rear tank. Well, it's supposed to happen. So, you know... If you've got, let's say, an issue where, you know, it runs on one tank and it doesn't run on another tank, well, then you essentially probably have a fuel pump issue um, in that particular tank, whichever one it doesn't run off of. So these, you know, they're, you troubleshoot these differently than you would um, those, you know, like these, if you've got, if it runs on one tank and doesn't run on another tank, um, chances are you probably got a, a line blockage of some kind in the 
you know the tank itself from the lines coming to the valve or the you know maybe the valve's not quite working like it's supposed to i usually have never seen them do that usually they just either work or they don't work um or they do work and they, they blow the fuse every time you go to try to use it there's all those type of problems but so essentially this you know just doesn't have the uh, actual switching valve that this pickup has and like I said, this would be the same for the, you know, a, a 1994 F-150 with the 300 straight six. You know, if it has the two two gas tank option, it's going to be just set up just like this. There's a pump in each tank, and there's just check valves to keep the return fuel from, uh, you know, not return returning o returning only to the tank you're running off of is 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 what it, is what they do. So, essentially, that's that's how these work. Um, you know, in our, in our case, what we're going to have to do, you know, is we're going to drop this front tank and we're going to replace that uh, fuel pump module in there because it's all done internally inside of there. Um, and so that's what we're going to have to do to fix this problem. Um, we're also going to be dropping the rear tank and just changing that fuel pump module out just because, um, you know, the customer wants to keep this pickup pretty reliable. So um, we need to do that. And that's just what we're going to do to fi end up fixing this problem so um hopefully this will um clear up everything um you know because it's sometimes can be difficult finding information on on uh pickups these this old because you know there's there's tons of forums from even like you know 13 14 years ago or something like that and you just you, you read and through all that stuff and it's just tons of freaking information that some of it's right some of it's wrong some of it doesn't pertain to you know what you're looking at and if i wanted to do this to uh, kind of clarify everything you know as far as the two different types of systems that you have and which way to troubleshoot it. So if you have the diesel engine, you're gonna to have to troubleshoot it a different way. Um, I have not seen the diesel engines fill from one tank to the other. I'm not saying it can't, but I just haven't seen that. Um, but it was not a common problem, but it's common enough in the gasoline engines to have this problem happen. And so hopefully this will uh, help you out. If you have any questions, just um, Shoot them down in the comments. I'll try my best to uh, answer them. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching.